So, one day you're just chilling in space, trying to get stuff done in the early stages of the game because you are still exploring as you come upon a lush, fertile world. You go in for your scanning, and what do you find? Well, you find the following. Welcome to Broken Union, arguably one of the funner events in the game when it comes to getting new traits onto your species because, yes, we are going to be slapping symbiotes to your head. That's right, we're gonna go full-on gold in this his house. Except for the fact that in this particular case it doesn't, you know, attach to your brainstem and takes over your body. Regardless, welcome to Broken Union. The Broken Union is very interesting. Uh, it's not really abusable by anybody who is xenophobic or uh, any machine race or hive mind. So yeah, if you're one of those, then you will most likely not run into this particular scenario. Regardless, Broken Union. As your science ships discover the planet, they will find themselves a primitive civilization, or at least some primitive species, because yes, there is a singular tile on that planet of dangerous wildlife, as well as the idea that the species may have been a bit more evolved before, as in a bit more advanced. Going through their burial grounds, you find yourselves some globs of brain tissue laying around and uh, your scientist is like you know what this is cool we can take a look at this and this goes into the neural symbiosis events where the scientist is thinking by themselves you know what we could hypothetically just slap it onto our head as being a host so yeah that's that's totally possible. So uh, she slaps it against her hull, uh, head so that's kind of cool and then it turns out that uh, you can brain slug your entire species and uh, as the game so nicely says, uh, then let us open our hearts and our brain stems to them. Now, at first, this may seem to be a horribly bad idea. I've seen enough hente to know where this is going. However, considering the traits you can get out of this, this is pretty damn good. So what actually happens? Well, there's a couple things that happens here. Uh, a, your leaders will get quote-unquote brain slugged, or at least a certain number of them. Your population will get brain slugged, or at least a certain number of them. And if you do this early in the game enough, or if you get the event early in the game enough, you can basically get your entire species brain slugged, which adds all sorts of amazing bonuses. Just to illustrate, if we go to our uh, capital world and take a look at what brain slugging actually does, it is effectively a more advanced version of the intelligent trait, where uh, intelligent gives you a 10% bonus to all uh, engineering, physics, and social society outputs, whereas brain slug basically does the same, but it also gives you a plus 10% unity output bonus, which is pretty damn amazing. Of course, there is a uh, single malice with pup growth speed being reduced, but hey, that's something that you're just going to have. To deal with it, you can totally offset that with um, rapid breeders or something like that. Uh, there will also be a slug phobia event that basically means that your population is a little bit uh, distrustful of uh, other people that are being slugged and basically will increase the amount of unrest on your planets by about 20% for about 7,000 days. So yeah, there you go. So let's have a quick look here at what it actually does to your leaders. So when it comes to leaders, brain slugs are actually quite impressive. Obviously, we have governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. Governors with brain slug will give you an additional bonus of build speed, as well as every single engineering, physics, and society tile uh, in a sector or core sector that they control will have a plus 15% bonus output. And that is a huge number that you should not underestimate. It is basically the same as you would get with intelligent. And this, of course, stacks on top of the stats that um, the, the the pops on the ground already do as well. Then as for scientists, uh, increases research speed, which is always great, plus 10% is a pretty big bonus. Survey speed and anomaly research speed uh, being increased by 15%, also a pretty big deal, especially if you start stacking them with different abilities. For admirals, uh, the brain slug host will give you an improvement in fire rate of 5%, evasion 5%, and ship upkeep, 10%. Not gonna lie, that is a huge bonus, especially if you have something like Cautious or anything like that, Fire Aid or Aggressive, then uh, yeah, Brain Slug, it, it, it's a free bonus. It's uh, it's free real estate. It's, it's great. And it's uh, right off the bat and you will basically be guaranteed every single time to get it. And finally, for Generals, it reduces your army upkeep by 15%, which by itself is not really all of that exciting. It's not the, the greatest effect it can have. And then again, generals are pretty much the most 
underused leaders within the game in all honesty i wouldn't be surprised if uh, generals are going to go to wave the dodo at some time in the near future but we shall see but regardless leaders yeah pretty damn good whilst brain slugged and clearly as soon as they're uh, as long as their eyes don't uh, you know flash up gold i think you should be okay so yeah brain slugs have you used them before do you like them if so Put a uh, comment in below in the in the in the chat, and we'll see what we can do in the future when it comes to more of these sort of events. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take good care of yourselves and, as always, each other.